Hello Grade 9 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So may panibagong concept na naman tayong pag-aaralan ngayon that is the continuation on properties of rational exponents. So we're in yung ating exponent is a fraction or is in fraction form. So ngayon naman, so let us define the n root of b. So if n is a positive integer and b is any real number such that b raised to 1 over n is a real number, then b raised to 1 over n equals n root of b. So previously, we determined the relationship between the concept of rational exponent and radical. Let us say we have here 9 raised to 1 half times 9 raised to 1 half. So as you have observed, we have the same base which is 9. We just copy it and then since multiplication, we can apply the product rule. So we just add the exponent. So this gives us an answer of 9 1 half plus 1 half equals to 9 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1. And then 9 raised to 1 is 9. This means that 9 and 1 half is equal to the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So in this case, we can express any real number raised in a rational exponent into this radical form. So just like this one, 9 raised to a rational exponent so we can express it into a radical form which is square root of 9 so we're in ang base natin ng index dito ay yung 2 so kapag 2 yung index so pwede na natin siyang hindi isulat because square root means the index is 2 and then we have here our base ito yung nasa loob ng ating radical sign which is our radicand and then we can simplify the square root of 9 as equal to 3 so let's have another example. Let us say we have here example 1. We are going to express x raised to 1 half in its radical form. So, we can make use of the concept b raised to 1 over n equals to n root of b. So, we have here x. So, square root of x. So, no need to put the index uh, 2. So, which simply means the square root of x. So, meaning to say that square root of x or x raised to 1 half is equal to square root of x. Another example, 3 xy, the quantity of 3xy raised to 1 third. So we are going to express this expression in its radical form. So we have here our base 3xy. So meaning to say that using the power rule, so we just distribute it as 3 raised to 1 thirds, x raised to 1 thirds, and y raised to 1 thirds. Since we are going to transform it into a radical form, so, nasa loob ng radical sign yung ating expression na 3xy. And then, since it is 1 thirds, so our index will be 3. So, this can be read as the cube root of 3xy. So, for our last example, we have here 2x squared y raised to 1 fifth. So, same process as example 2. So, we can use the power rule. So, we need to distribute the expression 2x squared y to 1 fifth. So, that is 2 raised to 1 fifth. Then, x squared times 1 fifth. And, y raised to 1 fifth. So, therefore, we have here square root, the square root sign. And then, the base is 2x squared y. So, nasa loob siya ng radical sign natin. So, 2x squared y. And then, since it is raised to 1 fifth, so our index is 5. So, this 
can be read as the p root of 2x squared y. So let's have the definition of n root of b, the quantity b raised to m. So we're in, ito naman ay merong parenthesis, and then yung ating uh, radicand is raised to an exponent which is m. So it says here that if n and m are positive integers and b is any real number such that b raised to 1 over n is a real number, then b raised to m over n equals the quantity uh, n root of b raised to m equals to n root of b raised to m. Uh, for you to be able to understand the given concept, so let's have an example. So, example. Okay. So, let me say we have, uh, we need to express y raised to 3 pith in its radical form. Okay. So, that is in the form of b raised to m over n equals to y 3 pith. So, when yung ating b ay y, yung ating m ay 3, at yung ating n ay 5. So, this will give us an answer of p root of y cube. So, we're in yung ating uh, numerator ng ating uh, rational exponent or yung ating uh, exponent na fraction ang magiging exponent itong ating radicand. So, and then yung index ay yung denominator ng ating uh, fraction na exponent. So, again, when we express y raised to 3 over 5 or 3 pith in its radical form, it will become the pith root of y cubed. So let's have another example. So let's uh, let me say we need to express in its radical form 2x y squared raised to 3 over 7 in its radical form. So we can write it as our denominator is 7. So 7th root of 2x y squared. raised to 3. And then, we have here 7th root of distribute lang natin tong uh, exponent na 3. So, this will give us 2 cube x cube y squared times 3. And then, we have here 7th root of 2 cube, so we need to multiply it by, uh, by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then we have here x cube. And then y, 2 times 3 is 6. So therefore, our final answer is 7th root of 8 x cube y to the 6. So for our last example, let me say we have... 4a cube b squared raised to 5 over 17 in its radical form. So this can be written as our denominator will be the index. So 17th root of 4a cube b squared raised to 5. And then we have here 17th root of 4 raised to 5, then a cube times 5, and then b squared times 5. And then simplify, we have here 17th root of 4 raised to 5. So meaning we need to multiply 4 by itself 5 times. So 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And this will give us an answer of 1024 and then a 
3 times 5 is 15 and then B 2 times 5 is 10. Though we can express the rational exponents in its radical form, we can use the same definition in expressing the radical expression to rational exponents. So we're in, ang given na yung radical form, gagawin naman natin siyang uh, radical, gagawin naman natin siyang uh, rational exponent form. Let me say, we need to express square root of x cubed y to the fifth in its rational exponent form. Exponent form. Okay? And then we have here x cubed y to the fifth raised to one half because of uh, the radical sign and there is no index so we need to say that is raised to one half by applying the properties of rational exponent to simplify so we will get an answer of x 3 times one half is three halves and then y 5 times one half is five halves so therefore when we express the square root of x cubed y to the fifth in its rational exponent it will become x raised to three halves and y raised to five halves okay another so let's uh let me say we have the cube root of 27 a to the fifth b squared so we have here 27 a to the fifth b squared times the index is 3 so our exponent is 1 3rd and then use the properties of rational exponent to simplify so we have here 27 raised to 1 3rd and then a 5 times 1 third is 5 thirds and then B 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds and then we can simplify 27 raised to 1 third that is the cube root of 27 right so that is the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 27 is 3 so we have here A raised to 5 thirds and B raised to 2 thirds. And then for our last example, so we need to express the P fruit of 3,125 A cubed B to the 6. So we have here 3,125 a cubed b to the 6 times or raised to 1 fifth. So that is 3,125 raised to 1 fifth. Then a 3 times 1 fifth is 3 pips. Then b 6 times 1 fifth is 6 over 5 or 6 pips. So this can be written as the fifth root of 3,125. And the pith root of 3,125 is 5. And then we have here A raised to 3 pith and B raised to 6 over 5. So that concludes our lesson. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and classmates. And see you on our next video lesson. So thank you for watching.